My water just broke, y'all. Like, I'm sitting on the toilet. My water breaking, it's still leaking. I try to put on the pad, it's soaking up the pad. It's finally getting real, y'all. And my due date is tomorrow, which is the crazy thing. Let's go do this. I'm currently on the way to the hospital now. The whole day, my stomach has been feeling like tight. So I was laying down and then it felt like I peed on myself. So I was like, hold on, went to the bathroom. Then I sat down and wasn't nothing coming out. So I was like, okay, I get up. And it just started coming out on for y'all, so. That's crazy. <laughs> Why is you laughing? Carter, how you feel? I'm scared. Why are you scared? Cause. Cause what? I feel like it's gonna be scary. I have made it to the hospital. I'm waiting on my dad to come first because I forgot all my stuff, y'all. My license, my insurance, my everything. Like, I just forgot everything. I'm not in any pain or anything right now, so I'm really just chilling. Carter, so excited. Yeah, I love it. Dude, who excited? <laughs> <laughs> this is who excited, y'all. Dude, who scared? He more scared than me. Y'all. So I'm just doing all the paperwork, stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> I got a vlog, this experience. Yeah. Got it. So I made it to, I don't know, it's some little room, but I think they're just gonna check, hook me up to monitors, stuff like that. I'm next to someone literally right there, which is kind of weird. I don't like that. But. So y'all, um, she checked my cervix and I am still two centimeter dilated but she said his head is really low and yeah she got me hooked up to a monitor why is you over there looking like that she did say that i'm a little hot like that my temperature was like 90 something 99 something okay y'all i don't know if i updated y'all or not but it is currently 10 o'clock and my water broke at seven and it's still breaking that's crazy i didn't know it went that long they said i'm having contractions it's on the little screen but i'm not feeling it so far thank god um i know probably when it gets closer in time that they're gonna come crazy but i feel good right now why you walking around are you nervous you're gonna be a dad. <laughs> oh, so my dad just made it back with my food. And I'm so, so happy. And they said that they're cleaning my labor. Why are you all? <laughs> Leave me alone. They said that they're. Damn, I'm all over my hair. They said they're cleaning my labor room. So I'm gonna get moved there when I get done eating. And I'm so happy. I'm going to catch y'all when I get to my room. So y'all, I am currently in the labor room. And right now I'm just sitting here. I'm by myself right now because my boyfriend, his grandma, they went to go get some food. Even though it's like 11 o'clock. But they're just going to get something from the house and come back. My mom was in the... Y'all, this blood pressure thing hurts so freaking bad. Yeah, my mom was in the room, but she just walked down to get my dad and my nephew to come up here while they're gone and to bring all my bags. This is how the room looks. Like a TV right there. And this is like a little pull out chair and two more chairs. I think they're going to check my cervix um, again tonight. They did say that uh, I'm kind of like on my own right now. And if I don't dilate, then they're going to give me something to help me dilate, which I did not want because it's called Pitocin. And I just see a lot, a lot, a lot of bad things about Pitocin. So hopefully I don't have to get the Pitocin because I know if I had to get it, I'm probably going to get the Epidural because they say that the contractions are crazy with it. So hopefully I just dilate on my own. And um, 
They said I could walk around, I can get on the ball, or I can even rip, or I can just rest for the night. So I'm probably just gonna rest. And when I get up in the morning, I'll probably walk around and do whatever y'all. But your girl still having contractions, still not feeling them right now. That's kind of what they're concerned about. Um, Cause I'm not feeling anything. Like it's not, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. So my vlog, hey. Hello. Currently 12.54 now, and they just shaped my cervix, and I'm four centimeters dilated, y'all. But still not having no contractions, which that that is what they really want me to have. Like, before she left, she said, now we just got to get some contractions, because that's really what we're waiting on for. Bored out my mind. Currently. Board <clears throat> 16 and I was on the ball for a good 30 minutes and then she came and took me off and then she said we had to monitor baby heartbeat for 20 minutes and then she was like I can get back on the ball walk or do whatever y'all starting to feel a little contractions it mainly feel like tightening and it kind of just feel like lightning crotch at the same time. So, but I can definitely feel it. Uh, I give the pain like a two. It's not that bad. It's very bearable. It's not unbearable at all. 8.35 in the morning. I have walked around, tried to dilate myself, but still not dilating. So I'm still at four centimeters. So, I'm finna start Pitocin, y'all, which I did not want to do, but I'm not having any contractions. So, and they're far apart, and I'm not feeling them. So, they're gonna just speed up the process or whatever. Um, they're gonna start with the lowest dose, and we're just gonna see how this goes. I'm kind of scared, though, because I, I don't like pain. Just gotta bear with the pain. And my mom is back. Back with day two. Back. How this goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Hey y'all, so I finally gave in and got the epidural of my lip chap. Sorry, my mama won't let me get no chapstick. But um yeah, the contractions was too too bad, they were coming too too heavy. So I just went ahead. You can back back some. I just went ahead and just told them, just give me the epidural. And I feel it numbing up my body. I don't really feel the contractions anymore. I plan to do no epidural. I said that over a thousand times, but I couldn't just deal with it. So it's currently 12 o'clock. I don't know when I'm going to have a baby, but yep. Four o'clock and I still ain't had this baby. I haven't been checking me right now last time they checked me i was at seven centimeters so i guess they're gonna wait a little while to check me but i'm just laying here like completely numb <laughs> completely numb don't feel anything don't think i can feel from like my legs is me wiggling my toes i can't feel nothing else ma are you nervous uh -uh. Wait, I ain't do this. You true to this? Two children. She ain't nervous because it ain't her. Nervous. Everybody know you nervous. What you nervous for? Probably you ain't. I look so black. It's six twelve, and I am currently nine centimeters dilated. So it's almost time. Gonna get the show on the road. I've been waiting to get this over with all day. I'm nervous. Just a little. Just a little. Not too much. Currently 8.46 and still no baby. They just came and took my blood, y'all. Because my feet are very, very swollen. But I'm just ready to get this over with. I didn't expect to be in labor over 24 hours. Which is crazy. It's go time. <laughs> I'm so pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna push.
Get the baby up, y'all. <laughs> well, mama turned to this way. My daddy want to take his head out the wall. <laughs> Man, he acting like he hot. Who gonna help me with my leg? <laughs> Care about the looking crazy. I know. <laughs> so when you have a contraction, your body's pushing, and then you push at the same time, it like work overall. Okay. The average first time mom pushes for an hour or two, you're not going to do that long. Just push as hard as you can each time. And then when we hit the third push, push with everything you got until you give up. So touch here, hold, and pressure. Lots of pressure here. Big breath in. And hard push. Chin your chest, wrap around baby. Hard push, hard push, hard push. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. All in your butt, all in your butt, all in your butt. And blow it away. Big breath in. And hard push, chin your chest, wrap around baby. Hold it for 10 seconds. Nine, good. Eight, seven, all in your butt. Six, five, let your hands up. Four, three, two, one. Focus this energy down here, not on your face. Down here, okay? Big breath. Deeper grunt, all in your butt. Hold it for 10 seconds. Good. Nine, good. Eight, seven, good. Six, five, good. Four, three, keep pushing. Two, one, let it out. Slow big breath into your nose, out your mouth. Good job. Dad, can I put you to work? Would you mind? Can I have you hold the bottom of her foot just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere? Thank you. Did you get lightheaded or woozy? Oh, okay. <laughs> I got her. I'll put you in <laughs> When you have an amnio infusion, you have a lot of extra fluid up around the baby. Mm -hmm. And the baby's kind of corking it. So when the baby comes out, a ton of fluid usually comes out. <laughs> so she said, I'm going to so get sprayed. <laughs> That's good, though, because it gives you a minute to breathe, catch your breath, build up your strength, mm -hmm. and then push it with everything you got to get the baby out. You got the hair hanging. I mean, it's long hair it's hanging out. <laughs> Picture yourself squatting to through the woods and hard push. <laughs> Lovely picture. Hard push, hard push, hard push. Keep it to work. I know. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. Blow it away. Okay, you're really constipated. Big breath in. <laughs> and hard push. Everything got all in your butt. Good. Keep going, keep going. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Keep pushing. Hold it there, hold it there, hold it there. You can have all that hair. Good job. <laughs> this hair is so long. <laughs> you can put like a little mohawk or braids in. <laughs> <laughs> I love making them out with like a ton of hair. Oh, I know. It's so fun to bathe them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all on the butt, all on the butt. Just like your hot feet in. Hard push, hard push, hard push. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Just like that. Good. Take a breath when you need it. Big breath in. Go right back into it. Everything you got. Hold it for 10 seconds. Good. Nine. There you go. Keep good. it up. Keep Eight, it up. Keep that pressure seven, up. Seven. Good. Six. Five. Keep pushing. Four. Three. Two. One. Breath. And big push. Everything you got again. You got head hanging out about an inch. Hard push. Hard push. Hard push. There you go. Just like that. Keep that up. Hard push. Hard push. Hard push. Hard push. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Blow it away. Come on, mommy. You want to see this baby's hair? Let's go. Big breath. <laughs> And hard push, do your chest. Wrap around baby. Hardest one. Good. 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 Keep going, keep going, keep going. Hold it there, hold it there, hold it there. Push. Good job. Blow it away. Do you want yes. to go to the top of the head? I ain't sure about it. Hard, steady push. Chin your chest like good. you did. Good. There you go. Hard push, hard good. push, hard good. push. Good, good, good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Chin your chest. You're doing keep great. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. 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 Keep pushing. Just like that. Just good like job. that. Keep that up. Keep that up. Yay. Here we come. <laughs> you need to breathe, but come right back to it. Perfect. Keep pushing. There you All go. Heads better. coming. Heads coming. Good job. <laughs> Keep pushing. Good job. I can almost see eyebrows. Good breath. And hard push. Good. There Good. Head is out. Down. Down. Pause here for a second. Okay. There's all that flow. Hard push. Good job. There we go. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Just a rotating. <gasps> hey, baby. Okay. Hey, baby. <laughs> That's for you. Drive off a little bit. All that fluid is just making them a little juicy. I've oh, no. got. <laughs> oh, <laughs> How much you want? Fourteen hundred. <laughs> I hear you, buddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 o
So you're gonna go in between these two plants right here. It feels like a gummy right there. Okay. Just look Please. at you. I she needs some. Well, I recorded me pushing and stuff, but they're like the last thing I don't record. I didn't record it. it. Well, she push it. Well, it didn't look like he cut the cord though. You gotta get some wow. Huh? It was looking nasty. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, I'm back, and I haven't updated y'all since I done had the baby or whatever. But it's currently the next day. And it's around like it's 3:47, y'all. Um, last night a lot happened. Um, I'm not gonna really speak on it in this video, but I did give birth, and he was seven pounds and 14 ounces, so he was almost eight pounds, y'all. That's a big old baby, and he been doing good. Everybody been coming to see him. He got a head full of hair. Everybody in love with his hair, like. Literally, like the other nurse was like, the midwife told me that it was a baby. He had a lot of hair, so we had to come see. And they was like, okay, you got the most hair all week. I'm still in like the labor and delivery room. I'm gonna get moved to the postpartum room tomorrow, and I'm probably gonna stay an extra day than what I'm supposed to, just so they can monitor me and stuff. So cute, so chunky. He got the most chubbiest cheeks, and he looked like me. I got a twin. So excited. Currently 12 at night. And I just got moved into like the postpartum room. So I'm finally off the IV and stuff. Still got it attached to me, but I'm off of it. And literally finna just go to sleep, take a nap, wait for in the morning time. A lot of people came today and helped the baby and stuff. Um, I know some people is coming tomorrow too, so gotta go ahead and rest and get prepared for that. Huh? Postpartum room. Can't wait to see everybody tomorrow. Stuff like that. Hopefully I'm fiddling better. What well, was funny? Yeah, I like when folks come. You don't know that. It gives you something to do. Yeah, it gives you something to look forward to. Yeah. Yeah, boy, I just want to be going home. Huh? Yeah. For real? At first I wasn't, but... Why you wasn't? Because I be feeling safer here around, like, nurses and stuff. Man, you're going to be good when they let you go home. And then you talk to you go home, you're good. Like... But, yeah. Anyway. I got stuff. Oh, oh. Tomorrow, I'm probably going to show y'all... My son, I don't know yet if I should. What you think? It's so easy. Oh. You cut the light off, so. Look, hold on. I'm going to turn your light on. It's now morning time. It's around like 7.30. It just brought me some food. Um gonna try to eat i know they took my catheter out because that was like making me like pee it was like flushing out my pee i couldn't actually feel that i was peeing but i know after i eat they want me to pee on my own y'all i'm so scared like i'm so scared but i know like once i go ahead and get that over with it's gonna be better like each and every time and it's probably gonna help me like heal faster stuff like that so I'm gonna eat this food. They got me some grits, some eggs, and some bacon. Same thing I had yesterday. So I'm gonna eat this food and hopefully I can get up and pee. I don't have the urge to pee, but they said they're gonna make me pee. So Jay. It's my baby, y'all. So stay tuned, because I'm here for I mean him. <laughs> What's up, Papa? <laughs> Well, they got to get on with him. It broke. I think it's on I mean, he's 
Hey y'all, so I believe this is gonna be my last full day. I go home tomorrow. I'm excited to be in the comfort of my home. I'm going this way. And stuff, y'all. A lot of people came, helped him. He already spoiled already. Because every time they just hold him all the time, nonstop. So today is actually the day that I'm supposed to go home. My blood pressure is a little high, so I'm pretty, I'm not really sure when they're going to let me go home. But I got baby boy right here. Y'all, he is the cutest thing ever. Like, I went through so much in my labor. I didn't really speak on it in this video. But I will be doing uh, another video speaking on what exactly happened, my whole birth experience. I'm going to tell you from point A to point B, I did a lot. So much happened. All for you, baby chosen. And I just feel like his name perfectly fits him. Like His name been set in stone, but it perfectly fits him because you chosen, little boy. You was chosen. Like, you was chosen for me, for your dad, for our family. Like, I'm so excited, like, to be a mother. Like, it's just a whole different feeling. Um, I was kind of feeling a little discouraged at first, you know, with people visiting and, I don't know, me not being able to really just bond with him. But we've been bonding lately as I'm getting better and moving around more so that's good can't wait to take him home y'all he looks so chinese like when he came out everybody like literally everybody says he looks just like me y'all like if y'all see my baby picture y'all would say he look just like me like if y'all know like i don't know if y'all can tell but my eyes they are very low especially in the morning time like they're very chinese i have always been told that i look blazing and this little boy definitely plays you like my twin. Where are you being? Like twin. Where have you been? Y'all look at his hair. Look at my baby hair. He got so much hair, y'all. He always doing that, trying to cover his face. He was doing that in other sounds, y'all. But I don't know. This might be the end of the vlog. If it is, I hope y'all like this video. Comment and subscribe. Turn those post notification bell. And stay tuned for my delivery experience. Come telling the tea. Raw and uncut. So yeah. Say bye, Chosen. He said bye.